Hey guys, what's up? So we've got our contest update here today. We've picked our winner, or winners, actually. We had two people suggest the same knife, and uh, that's who won. So Cynric 77 and Bikes and Blades 901. I've already contacted them both over PM. Uh, I just thought I should make the video and let you guys know. So I've already ordered the Ontario Rat 1s. That was the knife they suggested. They both made a good case for that being the knife that we give away. Um, and it's one that Chad and I have both been interested in for a while. So I picked up three of the variety with black hand or um, black blade, green handle, and one uh, black blade, black handle for bikes and blades. Uh, I wanted to thank the four people that we had enter. The other two were um, TDA Row One. I'm sorry, dude. I don't know how to uh, say your screen name. TD Bro, TD Brow One, um, it's like that. Um, he's a cool guy. He's made a couple of videos. Uh, so far, I don't think he has a camera, uh, but he's made some VR entries into people's contests and all that. He suggested the Leatherman Wingman, which is a very cool suggestion, one that I wasn't really expecting. And then uh, we had Boss Tycoon 530BZ, or B2, I think it's BZ. Um, and uh, he suggested the Kershaw Cryo. Also a very cool knife that I want to try out at some point. Um, but the Ontario Rat 1, I think, being a first knife for a beginner, it has some cool features. Um, bikes and blades, very knowledgeable about the knife. It's talking about how the, uh, the stop pin, whatever you want to call it, the um, pin that the back of the knife will be applying force to, um, if that gets indented by hard use, you can stop it. Bleh. I can talk. You can switch it out for another one of the body pins of the knife. Um, and then a very cool utilitarian blade profile. Uh, Aus 8 is a good blade steel. I know a lot of people hate on it. I don't know why. It takes a wicked edge. Um, dulls relatively quickly, but uh, honestly, I've found it to be nearly identical, if not better in performance, than 8 CR13 MOV, and everybody seems to love that. Uh, so I'm not sure why Aus 8 gets so much hate, but um, good blade steel, good design on the knife. So that's the one that we picked. Like I said, I wanted to thank the other two guys for their entries. They certainly weren't bad, and uh, I definitely don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but if I were in the financial spot only having four entries that I could give everyone the knife that they suggested, I definitely would. We're just not there right now. Um, so Cynric and Bikes, Blade, Bikes and Blades won. Uh, check out both of these guys' channels, and actually check out all four for that matter. Um... Cynric, we've recommended him a couple of times before. He's a great guy. Knife Reviews um, does a couple of cool weekly things on his channel. He's just an all-around cool guy, so go and check him out. If you like our stuff, you're going to love his stuff. And Bikes and Blades, not many videos, but he seems to be extraordinarily knowledgeable. Uh, so I'm not sure why not as many videos. Um, so go and check him out. He's got a couple of videos, how to make a folder faster, uh, deploying that is... Uh, so really cool stuff um, coming off his channel, and uh, so yeah, that's that. Um, I think Chad will be talking about tomorrow. We have another giveaway uh, to be thinking about. Not quite ready to start accepting VRs on it yet, but by the end of this month, we'll uh, elucidate that some more and uh, talk about what we want there. Um, so yeah, that's that. Thank you guys for your input. Thank you for entering. Um, you know, it's, it's you guys' uh, entries into stuff like this, comments, likes on the videos, that really keeps us motivated to um, keep doing our YouTube stuff, especially nights like tonight where I've been busy all day and now at 10.30, 11, I'm making and editing a video. Um, so thank you guys for that. Check out the people we talked about. Uh, Boss Tycoon 530 BZ, check him out too. Really cool guy. Um, yeah. So there's that. The only thing I'm going to ask of the people that uh, won the contest, which we've done this in the one contest we did before, uh, I'm just asking, make an unboxing when you get the knife, just so that everybody knows, you know, we stayed true to our word. Um, gave away the stuff we actually said we'd give away. And uh, then review the knife at some point, which I think for the two people we picked, that shouldn't be a problem at all. But, uh, you know, three, four, five months down the road when you've had your time to use the thing, carry it, get to know it, uh, make a review, because me and Chad will be making our reviews, and uh, it would be really cool to have that big pool of knowledge together, um, getting people's different perspectives on the knife, I think that's always awesome. Uh, I think, I'm not going to say too often, but uh, 
I know for me early on in my knife buying career, I, um, I would only watch one, two, three reviews of a knife and I got a pretty narrowed perspective from that. So I think it's always awesome to, uh, get out a whole bunch of different people's perspective. And I think looking at that comprehensive picture, you come to understand a knife better. Um, and you know, this whole giveaway was all about getting people into, uh, the hobby that we all enjoy. So, um, yeah, that kind of runs with that philosophy. And speaking of which, that blade that you guys see there is a Browning Black Label. Um, what is this one? The Stone Cold. Uh, this is my friend Caleb's knife. Uh, Chad and I are doing our best to pull our friends into the knife buying uh, hobby habit addiction as well. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, and entering our contests. And we'll have more contests to come. Um, love our audience. Thanks for the 100 subs. We appreciate the hell out of it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more of the same.